your relationship intelligence. It reflects the fact that you are the most complex computer in the universe. So last week in part when we talked about how the nerves coming from your brain come out in pairs, they go to a set of muscles, they go to an organ system. We talked about how that is storing information from every event that happens all across your life, creating emotional issues that wind up in your meridian energy highways, in your chakra energy systems, and in your energy bodies that are beyond your physical body. Today, we're going to talk about the second aspect that uses your, or actually creates your relationship intelligence, storing information, again, about your life. And this time, we're talking about your skeletal system. Now, here in this shot, you can see that we're starting at the very top of your skeleton. And that first bone up there, it's called the atlas. The atlas isn't exactly a vertebrae like all the others on your spine. In fact, it's a ring, and your head sits in that ring. And it's the job of the atlas to hold your head on straight. Now, if your atlas gets off, and it can get off as simple as, have you ever found yourself sitting in a chair and all of a sudden you dozed off and you went, kind of jerked your head? It, it's that easy to misalign your atlas. So most people are walking around with their atlas off, and if your atlas is off, there's no way you can be healthy. You may not be aware of what's going on in your body, but here's what happens when your atlas goes off to the left, to the right, to the front, going up on an angle, going down on an angle. The rest of your spine has to do tricks to be able to balance your head so it stays on straight. What does that mean? It means you have vertebrae going out of alignment. If you've ever been to a chiropractor, you know that they talk about subluxations, about vertebrae being out of alignment. Now, as with the different nerves, the different meridians, everything having a very specific emotion, so does every bone in your body. Now, I started with the atlas, but actually, it's the skull bones that should be the starting point. Because those skull bones, they get out of place. Yeah, they do. In fact, there was some very interesting research, I think it was 20, 30 years ago, where the psychologist said, take a look at this. This part of the brain's big, that part of the brain's small. That is what causes ADHD. Well, the fact is, the skull bones being misaligned forced the brain to have a smaller area in one place and a larger area in another place. Now, it's not that hard to arrange, to adjust your sacral bones. And in fact, when your atlas is out, your TMJ is probably out. Your TMJ is your jaw joint. It's my experience in my practice, 100% of people I've worked on are dehydrated because no matter how much water you drink, if your body can't assimilate it and then use it, you're dehydrated. Number two is the TMJ is out, the jaw joint's out. Now the jaw joint controls everything down to your foot, your ankle, your knee, your hip. When I had the injury, the brain injury in 1996 and my TMJ was knocked out, I didn't have a short-term memory for three years until someone fixed my TMJ. And it only takes a matter of moments when you're working energetically. And then it was like a miracle. And actually that's why I became a specialized kinesiologist. So every bone in your body matters. Every bone in your body has a specific emotional issue or a reason for functioning that's going to cause you to have susceptibilities to some kinds of injuries, to have certain vertebrae go out. Now, it, your body is so specific that, say for instance, in your hand, it's not just the bones in your hand that matter, 
this bone and this bone and this one and this one and this one and this one every single part of your digit every bone in your hand every bone in your body has a very unique function that impacts you that is impacted by you and your life experiences now i want to show you two books that just might help you to take better care of yourself because knowing and understanding when you keep hurting something or if you break a particular bone there's a reason it was vulnerable this first book is by annette nunto now annette nunto was australian and this is called your body's the barometer of the soul she goes into very specific detail about what each bone is about and also next week i'll be talking about your teeth and how important each individual tooth is she goes into all that information a book that you're probably familiar with oh and there'll be links to each of these books down below the video is louise hayes you can heal your life now she's talking more about if this is your condition if this is your issue if this is your problem this is what's going wrong emotionally and you can say this affirmation to correct it so that's a good starting point and it's what americans are very familiar with this goes into very specific detail that you may find even more helpful and very very thorough explanations of the energy centers in your body how they work now just one more quick piece of information i want to give you all your skull bones they get misaligned but there's one bone only one in your skull that touches every other bone in your skull it's right behind your eyes it's kind of shaped like a butterfly it's called the sphenoid now if you've ever known anyone with adhd and they're acting just like a real sweetheart one moment and then suddenly they're really nasty suddenly they might be suicidal that's because the sphenoid has shifted up or down and if you know what to look for you can see it happen i've seen it happen in people and their mood changes just like that it's a very easy fix take your two thumbs up put them in your mouth behind your teeth up on the soft palate push evenly and that'll get your sphenoid back in alignment or if it's somebody who you're with and their mood suddenly shifts if you really look you'll see their face looks different so anyway now you understand or at least you're introduced to that second aspect of how your body is working with your spirit with your emotions with your life experiences to create your reality so once again every relationship experience all across your life gets recorded in your body in the bones in the muscles in the nerves in your teeth and by understanding by building your relationship intelligence you can clear out all the mess in your life the injuries the conditions the emotional issues the unhappy relationships the failures in life by building your your relationship intelligence you can create your world the way you dreamed it could be the way you want it to be so you can be happy you can be healthy you can be successful you can have great relationships i'm ali bierman learn more and start building your relationship intelligence over at your relationship intelligence dot com